Hi, and welcome back to the Cheeky Crypto Podcast. My name's Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, I'm going to highlight some altcoins I certainly will not be holding in this phase of the bear market. Now, some of these may be really, really obvious with everything that's happened with FTX, and some maybe not so. But I'm going to go through my reasoning as to why I'm not willing to hold these altcoins. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. Treat this as purely educational uh, purposes only. Go away, do your own research and uh, make your own investment decisions. Now, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, mash up that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, select in all the notifications so you never miss a video. And don't forget to jump in the Discord. It's absolutely free to join. Over 5,000 people supporting one another navigate the space safely. And I do have to say, we've done an impeccable job so far highlighting FTX, BlockFi and many others before they actually fell, giving people ample opportunity to get out of the space. So jump down there. That's where we sort of log everything and uh, keep people up to date. And obviously we have our Patreon membership as well. That is just on fire right now. Definitely go check that out if that is of interest. Links are in the description. Right, let's get down to the desktop. So I wanted to start here on YouTube and, you know, I just wanted to sort of run through what we're actually starting to see in the space. So like Wendy O, you know, why I sold my crypto and took a huge loss. I sold all my crypto uh, bent trading. Uh, again, uh, why I'm done with crypto, I sold everything. Like there's there's a trend here, you know, you're talking like over the last two to, to three weeks. And uh, look, you know, Nick's been calling this out from a, a technical, you know, perspective. You know, with technical analysis, ut utilizing Elliott Wave theory for for a long time now, and obviously we we've been sort of articulating to expect lower lows. And I think a lot of these influencers are, have been caught out a little bit. And there's a lot of people that are saying that they were wrong to to sell. And and you know, only time will will tell whether it's the right decision or the wrong decision. Now, personally, I think we've got lower lows to come still. So you know, I think they're going to do all right. They you know be able to purchase some more crypto. Uh, you know, closer to 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 the bottom, right? I I think that. There's a lot more still to to play out. Uh, I would say we're we're closer with Bitcoin than we are perhaps with some altcoins, uh, and I expect some some bear market rallies. But ultimately, I still think we're going to see lower lows. Uh, but you know, with all of that said, I wanted to just sort of flag it right. You know, this is kind of what's being articulated to everybody. Uh, you know, on a day by day basis now, right? Um, but let's sort of get into these altcoins. I want to talk through altcoins that you know potentially have some contagion to everything that's happened with FTX the obvious one and we were you know highlighting uh, ftt and solana really early on when it came uh, came to you know the opportunity to short and you know people in our patreon membership made some immense amounts of money uh short in some of these uh projects but you know it goes kind of without saying ftt there's no way i'm holding this shit coin moving on and we've got serum srm a lot of people don't realize that this one you know massively um i guess exposed to everything ftx uh currently down at 0 0.2679 again not one that i will be holding uh we go on to solana again you know this is one that you know nick and myself made some some good money on in the the previous uh bull market selling out at about 189 dollars a little bit you know lower than the uh all-time high uh but looking at it now you know it looks like a a good solid decision and i think that we are expecting some more bad news for for this one massively impacted by everything ftx uh, people, you know, concerned that it's going to go to zero. I don't think it's going to go to zero, but I do think that the prices are still going to continue to go low uh, or lower. So again, I'm not going to be holding this one. Moving on, and we've got uh, Kronos. So Crow, C R O, it's up 0.94% at the time of recording at 0 0.06468. Now, if you want to see uh, what's going on uh, around, uh, I guess, crypto.coms wallets and um, the amount of money that's being drained away uh, definitely jump into our patreon uh, link is in the description we've got all the analysis on on the wallets and everything that's happening there for me you know one of the big sort of signs that you know everything's um sort of coming to, to a bit of a standstill with with crypto.com for me is they've probably overspent with their endorsements and sponsorships in the the summer now 
this is um you know uh, a company that i think you know have done really really well um but yeah you know, i think they've just i think they've been caught with their pants down really and i think that you know things are not looking good for them and watching some of the interviews with chris the ceo of crypto.com you know does not fill me with confidence I, I i noticed that he sidestepped a number of questions that i would have liked to have seen him actually answer so go watch those interviews and uh you know let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are this one's going to be one of those controversial ones a lot of people really support this company um but at the moment i have real concerns and uh, until you know perhaps some questions are actually answered properly rather than being sidestepped um you know this is one that i'm staying way clear of moving on and we've got helium hnt maybe they'll be reeling the decision that they have made to utilize the solana ecosystem again for that very reason i am uh, staying away from this one uh, i think it will be all right i think it will survive and um you know it's just one of those projects that for me i'm just not you know going to be anywhere near it uh, moving on we've got oxy uh, again this is a project that i think is you know is massively exposed uh, it's up 55.57 percent at the time of recording uh, i do think that we're going to see lower lows again just not going near this one it's currently priced at 0 0.02297 and we'll get on to the last two and uh, the next one is nexo and uh, i have concerns over nexo again if you wish to find out more jump into the discord everything is detailed there uh, feel free to ask community um but you know i i kind of feel that this one is uh potentially a platform you know with with i would class as high risk at the moment with everything that i'm seeing uh, they keep talking about audits but they're not really audits so again for that reason i kind of feel that they're misleading uh, customers it's just my opinion you know you go uh, see whether the these so-called audits as they're calling them are actually audits or whether they're just you know something uh, that are worth very very little let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below but you know i'm off of uh, nexo um, not utilizing the system and i certainly wouldn't be holding the coin again some um, business ethic ethics i guess practices that i don't personally agree with when it comes to, to nexo uh, very similar into in, in the way that i kind of felt about alameda research and ftx you know i've been talking about alameda research since 2020 and sam uh, and talking about how much i really have a, a very you know strong dislike towards them uh, so i'm not surprised to, to see them where they they're, they're at now and at the moment you know i, I question some of the business ethics of nexo i won't get into it it's my personal view my personal opinion um but you can find out exactly why uh in the discord moving on and then we've got kucoin it's up 1.20 percent at the time of recording at six dollars 95 um the ticker is kcs again i'm not the biggest fan of kucoin uh again like there's been some um at least in my opinion uh alleged uh api key hacks uh the you know kucoin um dispute actually happening uh but i know personally people that have lost up to a quarter of a million dollars on this exchange due to an api hack in that individual's opinion so look for for me um i i don't particularly like uh the way that this company is operating uh i question pretty much anything that we're told from kucoin uh, they do list an insurance fund for their platform. Actually, when we contacted the insurance company, they said they no longer did business with KuCoin, uh, but it was still on their website. So look, uh, go do your own research. Um, you know, this is just my personal opinion. Um, you know, go fact check anything that I've said in this video. Uh, you know, and let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Look, um, these are, are projects that for, for me, I just don't feel the the risk reward is there right now, and uh, I think the the whole market's going to be going down. Uh, it's just purely my uh, my opinion, and I'm entitled to that. And uh, you know, 
Um, hopefully nobody sues me for, for giving my opinion on these projects. You know, I encourage you to go away and fact check and, uh, you know, dig into the, to the data and see, you know, where, where you land uh, when it comes to all of this sort of stuff. I really just, you know, wouldn't feel right not highlighting my concerns about some of these projects that, you know, uh, are operating in, in a way that I don't like in the space. I think, you know, we need to see, you know, some clarity when it comes to regulations. I don't like you know uh, regulations through enforcement i don't think that is the right way to to handle it either um but you know it's really clear to me that we need to see some some things improve right and i think the regulators and the governments around the world really need to take some accountability and some ownership over you know the the poor overseeing of you know the the crypto space and potentially other you know um financial instruments you know retail are getting absolutely destroyed uh, by a, a real lack of clarity uh, when it comes to, to regulations and you know I, I do think that they're going to be far reaching and uh, way over the top I think that you know really you know if they're given clarity earlier we probably wouldn't be in the position that we're in certainly uh, checks you know haven't been done uh, to a satisfactory standard with everything that's happened with FTX it's not like we haven't been here before in other you know sectors I mean look at 2008 and all of the repackaging uh, that, that happened there that really shouldn't have happened the the real lack of oversight and regulations and authority is, is just mind-boggling to me so look I think that you know we, we need to see some some really big changes in the space I think it's good that we you know have YouTubers calling out you know projects and altcoins that you know we're, we're perhaps not going to be you know seeing you know good positive news on and you know i think it's good to have a debate on it so i'd like to keep this as very much you know an informal my opinion kind of uh basis of these these projects i personally just don't feel that the risk reward is there at the moment i think it's far higher risk than my tolerance allows uh, and i thought that i would you know discuss it with everybody let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below these altcoins i'm not going to be anywhere near them uh, anytime soon and i think you're likely to see you know further downside if you enjoyed today's video mash up that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tapping that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and i will catch you in the next one take care